hello, hello. More excitement on the way. We have reached our second last quarter final. This evening, St. Mary's Eden Derry and Bailey Borough Community School compete for a place in the Blackboard Jungle semi finals. At this point, there are six teams left in the competition, but at the end of 30 minutes, only five teams can possibly win that great prize for their school. Have a look. Dictionaries and thesauri, sweatshirts and hoodies, walkmans and ghetto blasters, and for our champions, a video camera and a 17 seater minibus. <laughs> There it is, our winners up this evening get uh, a Walkman each and our winners of course qualify for the semi-finals of Blackboard Jungle and a possibility of winning that great minibus for their school. Let's just check in on Einstein to make sure all systems are go in the second last quarter final. He's in perfect working order so we can now meet our teams. On my right we welcome back the team from St Mary's Eden Derry and their team captain is Kevin Lynch. Welcome back Kevin. Hi right. Uh, on my right I've Brian McCormack and on my left Mark Gravel. So same, same as ever. Nothing has changed. No. Just to remind everyone at home, you uh, met Tremor CBS in the first round, and you beat them. And then in the second round, uh, you met the Comet of Mercy and beat them as well. Yeah. So as a result, you are here in the quarterfinals. So welcome back and good luck to St. Mary's in Derry. <laughs> it's an all-male affair this evening, competing against the lads from St. Mary's. is the team from Baileyborough Community School, and their team captain is Oliver Tormey. Welcome back, Oliver. Hi, Ray. How are you? All right. Good. I'm right here is my brother Martin. Martin Tommy. On my left is Chanel Markey. Right, and just to remind everybody, in the first round you took on Middleton CBS and beat them. And then in a thrilling second round match, it all sort of edged on the last minute. You beat Clonmel presentation, 53-52, only one point in it. And Oliver, you got in with the last. Rhodesia was the answer, wasn't it? Yep. You'll remember that answer for the rest of your life, I'd say. Put your hands together for Community School Baileyborough. <laughs> And of course, w welcome back to you and good luck. As usual, we have six rounds. Round three is our on-the-spot specialist round, and round six is our rapid-fire buzz round. In the other four rounds, you get two points for a correct individual answer, and one point if you choose to confer with your teammates. Also, in those four rounds, you get the option of an honours question, and I'll tell you about that when we get to it. So, it's time to start round one in this second-last quarter-final of Blackboard Jungle. We go to Einstein to make his category selection from St. Mary's in Eden Derry. It's science and nature. Science and Nature, and we go to Mark. Two questions for you on Science and Nature. Name one of the five elements known as halogens. One of the five. Confer. Confer for one. All I want is one for one point. Helium. No. The five are chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, and astetine. So any one of those would have done me for one point. Your second question, let's throw that away. Your second question is on this. What name is given to a young frog for two points? Tadpole. Is correct. Brian, two science and nature qu questions for you. In astronomy, what name is given to the highest point in the heavens? Zenith. Is correct for two points. Your second question. What color is iridium? Iridium. Confer. Confer for one. Orange. No, it's actually steel grey. Grey of dummy. Kevin, two questions for you on science and nature. How many acres are there in a square mile? Confer. Confer for one. Need an answer? Um, 15. No, it's 640. Actually. And your second question. Acetic acid is the main constituent of which household commodity? Acetic acid. Bleach. No, it's actually vinegar. Oh. Vinegar. At the end of that round, I can give you the option of an honours question, just to remind you about that. The points awarded for an honours question are exactly the same as the round number, one point in round one and so on. The question is not necessarily related to the category as chosen by Einstein. The team may confer, but if they get it wrong, the points are deducted. So will you take the option of an honours question? Yeah. You will, for one point. Here it is. Which Irish literary figure said at US Customs, and I quote, I have nothing to declare but my genius. Oscar Wilde. It's correct for one point. So at the end of that round, Inderi are on five points. 
So we go to Einstein to make his round one selection for the lads from Bailey Borough Community School. What will it be? It is science and nature, so a very even-handed start by Einstein. Martin, two questions for you on science and nature. By what name is tetanus more commonly known? The vernacular for tetanus. Confirm. Very for one. Mumps. No, it's actually Lockjaw. Lockjaw. Your second question. Name two of the four planets bigger than Earth. Uh, Uranus, Neptune. It's correct. And Jupiter and Saturn would have done as well. John, two questions for you on science and nature. Which class of creatures contains more than two-thirds of all known species? Yeah. Confirm the one. Which class of creatures contains more than two-thirds of all known species? Rodents. No, it's actually insects. Your second question. What type of angle is less than 90 degrees? Acute. It's correct. Two points. Oliver, two science and nature questions for you. What metal has the chemical symbol PT? Um, potassium. It's actually platinum. Platinum. And your second question. In the 1950s, the disease myxomatosis killed vast quantities of which animal? Rabbits. It's correct, for two points. So at the end of that round, will you take the option of an honours question? I will try it. You will. Right, it's a visual one. Have a look in your little telly there in front of you. There's Larry Gogan. What I want to know is he has the honour <coughs> of playing the very first record on 2FM. In what year did that happen? Was it 1978, 79 or 80? Seventy-nine. It's correct. It was actually 31st of May, 1979, and he played like clockwork by uh, the Boomtown Rats. So at the end of that round, Bailey Burr on seven points. <laughs> Into round two we go with Eden Derry on five, Bailey Burr on seven, and we call on Einstein to make his second round category selection for St Mary's from Eden Derry in County Offaly. It's English, or arts and literature, and we go to Mark. These are safety pins are... Paper clips. Right, Mark, two questions for you. Of Mice and Men and the Grapes of Wrath are works by which great American writer? Confer. Confer for one. John Steinbeck. John Steinbeck. Is correct. You needn't bend in the, the very sensitive microphones. Your second question. If Shakespeare was the Bard of Avon, who was the Bard of Ayrshire? Confer. Confer for one. Robert Burns. It's correct, for one point. Brian, your two arts and literature questions. Slander is spoken defamation of character. What is its written equivalent? Libel. It's correct, for two points. Your second question. Can you complete the famous saying by George Bernard Shaw? Here it is. He who can does, he who can't... Something. And that's the something we want, for two points. He who can does, he who can't... Confer. No, he doesn't refer. Very for one point. Can't can't. Can't. Need an answer? It fails. No, teaches actually. Teaches. Kevin, two questions for you on arts and literature. In George Orwell's classic Animal Farm, what type of beast was Boxer? Um, a horse. Is correct for two points. And your second question What nationality was the poet Longfellow? Um, confer. Confer for one. I need to hear confer a little earlier, Kevin, in future, please. Um, American. It's correct, for one point. So at the end of round two, will you take the option of an honours question? Um, yeah. You will? Right. It's not a visual one. Here it is, just a straightforward question. During which war did the siege of Mafeking take place? During which war did the siege of Mafeking take place? For two points. And the Zulu War? No, it's actually the Boer War. 
to Boer War. So two points deducted. At the end of second round, Eden Derry are on ten points. <laughs> okay, we're still in round two. We go to Einstein to make his category selection for the lads from Baileyborough Community School. What will it be? Geography for the first time this evening. And we go to Martin. Two geography questions for Martin. Tallahassee is the capital of which US state? Confirm. Purple one. Florida. Is correct. Which European country is joined to Italy by the Simplon Tunnel? Switzerland. Is correct. Two points. Well done. John, two geography questions for you. In which western county would you find the towns of Kilchimok and Ballyhonis? Confirm. Fair for one. Kilchimok and Ballyhonis. Mayo. Is correct for one point. Your second question. In which English range of hills would you find the source of the River Thames? Confair. Fair for one. Chilbury. No, it's actually the Cotswolds. The Cotswolds. Okay, Team Captain Oliver, two questions for you on geography. Name the port which serves the Greek capital of Athens. Um, Confail. Well, I need to hear confer a little earlier, please, if you're not going to answer yourself. Is it Patras? Is no, it's Piraeus. You had the P in the R, but that was it. Your second geography question. Which area of South America, when you translate its name, it means land of fire? Tierra de la Fugo. Is correct for two points. Well done. So at the end of that round, will you take the option of an honours question? Uh, sorry, your score is 13 and Eden Derry are on 10. I will take it. You will. It's a visual one again. So have a look at your monitors there. That's Boy George, right? What we want to know is his hairdresser's name. No, his surname. His surname. What is Boy George's surname? Is it Dowd? Yeah, Dowd. It's all Dowd. Dowd will do me fine for two points. So at the end of that round, Bailey Burr on 15 points. <laughs> it's very tense in Studio 5 as we enter round three. In this round, each team nominates one person to go on the spot. And first of all, we go over to St Mary's Eden Derry. Who's on the spot for you, Kevin? Uh, Mark's going to go on the spot for us. And what's his chosen category? Sport. What's your track record? 5 out of 6 and 5 out of 6. Right, so you're hoping to better that this evening. Put your hands together for Mark taking on sport for Eden Derry. <laughs> and it's over to Bailey Bird, their team captain Oliver. You're on the spot yourself. Yeah. Sport. And yeah. you're chosen, yeah, sport. What's your track record like? 5 out of 6 and 5 out of 6. So it's the same. So we're looking, yeah. it's very interesting competition here. It's put your hands together, sorry, for Oliver from Baileyborough. <laughs> but first we go back to St Mary's Eden Derry. On the spot for them is Mark. Six questions on sport for you, Mark. Question number one. What are the national colours of the Spanish soccer team? Red and... Is this red? Or red and yellow? No, it's red and blue. Red and blue. Your second question. How many hulls has a catamaran? Pardon? How many hulls has a catamaran? Two. Is correct. Your third question. In what type of sport would you negotiate a chicane? A chicane. Canoeing. No, it's actually motorsport. Question number four. In which weight division did Muhammad Ali win an Olympic gold medal in 1960? Heavyweight. It's actually light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Question number five. Ronnie Whelan scored a spectacular goal for Ireland in the Euro 88 Championship against which country? USSR. Is correct. And your final question. What nationality is former Wimbledon champi champion Virginia Wade? American. She's actually English. So what's that three out of six, is it? Anyway, at the end of round three, Eden Derry scores 14. <laughs> <laughs> Questions are a wee bit tougher in the quarterfinals. We go over to Baileyborough, and on the spot for them is team captain Oliver. Six questions for you, Oliver. Where was the 1970 Soccer World Cup held? 
Mexico. Is correct. Your second question. What's the maximum number of clubs a golfer can use in a competition? 14. Is correct. In motor racing, what colour is the danger flag? Red. It's actually yellow. It's actually yellow. Your fourth question. In Olympic swimming, what is the shortest competitive distance? Um, 100 metres. It's actually 50. 50. Liam Brady played for four Italian clubs. Name two of them. Just two of them. Juventus. Ascoli. Is correct. Inter Milan and Sampdoria would have done me as well. Buffers Alley is a famous hurling club in which Leinster County? Wexford. Is correct. So four out of six, bringing Bailey Bear a score to 23. Yeah. Okay, into round four we go. Eden Derry are on 14 and Bailey Bear are on 23. We ask Einstein to make his category selection for St. Mary's Eden Derry. History it is. Mark, two questions to you on history. Had you a query there? Uh, no, I thought it was 16. It should have been the score. No. You only got two. Sorry, you only got two. I said three. So 14 is the score. Two questions for you on history. What was the first signatory, or who was the first signatory, to the Easter Proclamation? Confer. Confer for one. I need to hear confer sooner, everybody. Who was the first signatory of the Easter Proclamation? Paul Pierce. No, it was Thomas Clark. Your second history question. During which world war were British troops first issued with hand grenades? Which world war? World war? The first world war. It's correct, for two points. Brian, two questions for you on history. The donkey is a symbol of which major US political party? The Republican Party. It's actually the Democratic, wrong choice. Second question. Which famous Irish patriot edited the newspaper on Clive Sullish from 1903 to 1909? Fair. Fair for one. Pierce. It's okay. correct. This time for one point. Kevin, two questions for you. Which religious order are known as the Black Friars? Confer. Confer. I need to hear confer a bit sooner. Um, Franciscans? No. Dominicans it is. Dominicans. Your second question. Which young people's movement held its first camp in Hampstead in 1910? Uh, the Scout Movement. No, it was actually the Girl Guides. The Girl Guides. So at the end of that round, you're on 17. Bailey Burr on 23. Will you take the option of an honours question for four points? Yeah. You will. Here's your question for four points. Remember, if you get it wrong, you're too well aware of this. The points are deducted. Under the eye of the clock, and Damburst of Dreams are works by which acclaimed young Dublin author? Christopher Nolan. I need it through the captain. Christopher Nolan. It's correct for four points, so Eden Derry are on 21 at the end of round four. Well done. <laughs> I'm developing a headache because of the tension here. It's round four, and we call on Einstein to make his category selection for Baileyborough Community School. What science and nature it is. Science and nature. So we go to Martin. Two questions for Martin on science and nature. Titan is the largest moon of which planet in our solar system? Titan. Confer. Confer for one. Jupiter. It's actually Saturn. Saturn. Your second question. Which colour are laburnum flowers? Laburnum flowers. Which colour are they? Confer. Confer for one. Yellow. Yellow is correct for one point. John, two questions for you. What name is given to the science that studies the flow of fluids? Confer. Confer for one. <coughs> the science that studies the flow of fluids. Viscosity. No, it's actually hydraulics. Hydraulics is the answer. Your second question. Which insect stage comes between larva and imago? Confer. Which insect stage comes between larva and imago? Need an answer? No. Pupa. Pupa is the answer. Oliver, two questions for you on science and nature. What is the deficiency? Let's start it again. What is the deficiency which causes anemia? A deficiency of what causes anemia? Iron. Is correct for two points. Your second question. In computer jargon, what does the acronym ROM mean? Read only memory. It's correct for two points. At the end of that round, Bailey Burry are on 28. Eden Derry are on 21. Will you take the option of an honest question for four points? 
No, we won't. No. Okay, so at the end of that round, Bailey Burrell on 28 points. <laughs> hmm. It's into round five we go. We call on Einstein to make his round five category selection for St. Mary's Eden Derry. What will it be? Sport it is. Hmm. Mark looks eager. Two questions for you on sport, Mark. Liverpool Football Club's most loyal supporters congregate on which legendary part of their ground? The cup. Is correct for two points. Which snooker star is nicknamed the grinder? A confer. Confer for one. I need to hear confer sooner. Sorry. <coughs> John Parrott. No, it's Cliff Thorburn. Cliff Thorburn. Brian, two questions for you on sport. On which course is the Irish Grand National run? Fairy House. Is correct. Two points. Your second question. From which European country do the soccer side Borussia Mönchengladbach hail? Germany. Is correct. Germany. Two points. Kevin, two questions for you. What nationality is tennis player Mary Jo Fernandez? American. Is correct. For two points. Your second question. In Gaelic games, what position does the number 12 occupy? Number 12. Confer. Uh, right half forward. No, it's left half forward. Left half forward. At the end of that round, your score is 29. Bailey Burr, 28. Will you take the option of an honours question for five points? No. No, you won't. So at the end of round five, Ian Derry, you're on 29. <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. Round five it is. We go to Einstein to make his category selection for Bailey Burr Community School. What is it going to be? Arts and literature, including English. And we go to Martin. Two questions for you on arts and literature. Which wind did the poet Shelley write an ode to? Confer. Confer for one. Which wind? West. It's correct. For one point. Your second question. In Victor Hugo's classic novel, what was Quasimodo's occupation? Confer. Confer for one. Quasimodo, what did he do? He rang the bells. It's correct. For one point. John, two questions for you. Which diminutive French painter was the first to make the poster a serious form of art? Confer. Which small French painter was the first to make the poster a serious work of art? Need an answer? Cezanne. No, it's Henry de Toulouse-Lautrec. Your second question. Which famous Irish poet was born and is buried in Inishkeen, County Monaghan? Patrick Kavanagh. It's correct for two points. Well done. Oliver, two questions for you. The Iliad and the Odyssey are both epic works by which ancient Greek writer? Homer. Is correct. And your second question. In Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol, how many ghosts appear to Ebenezer Scrooge? Three. No, it's actually four. We have a trick one there. It's Christmas past, present, future, and Jacob Marley, the ghost of Jacob Marley. That's the one you didn't get. So at the end of round five, your score is 34. Eden Derry are on 29. Will you take the option of an honours question? Need to know? No, well, don't, won't take it. You'll settle the way it is, right? At the end of round five, Bailey Burr on 34 points. <laughs> Coming up next is our final round. It's our rapid fire buzzer round. As I said, only five points in it. Eden Derry on 29, Bailey Burr on 34. Anything can happen. Two points for a correct answer. One point will be deducted if you buzz and fail to answer or answer incorrectly. So I'll ask questions till I hear the bell. What nationality was the painter Goya? Bailey Burr? Um, French. No, Spanish. One point deducted. In which Irish county is Listowel? Eden Derry? Kerry. Kerry. Is correct. How do you say thank you in Spanish? Bailey Burr? Gracias. Is correct. If your birthday fell on 20th of November, what star sign would you be under? Aiden Derry? No, it's Scorpio, actually. 20th of November. Which German city is served by Tegel and Tempelhof airports? Aiden Derry? Berlin. Is correct. How many players in a netball team? Uh, Bailey Burr? Se uh, seven. Is correct. Which two colours are contained in the Swedish flag? Bailey Burr? Red and white. It's blue and yellow. One point deducted. Which Australian city has the largest population? Bailey Burr? Sydney. Is correct. Who wrote the book Cash 22? Heller. Aiden Derry? Heller. Heller is correct. In which Irish county is the seaside resort of Bray? Aiden Derry? Wicklow. Is correct. Which type of birds are linked with the Tower of London? Aiden Derry? Raven. Is correct. Which letter is bottom right on a typewriter? 
Uh, Bailey Burry? I need an answer. He said. No, it's actually M1 point deducted, which means. Oh. oh. Victorious tonight are St. Mary's from Eden Derry by one point. Give them a round of applause. And the sincerest commiserations to Baileyborough Community School. Just as you won your second round match on the bell, you lost your quarter-final. Sorry about that. You take away your Walkman. Thanks very much and well done. Great sports. Martin, Oliver and John. And once again, well done. Another thrilling Blackboard Jungle. Well done to Mark, Kevin and Brian. We will see you in the semi-finals. You will join Mercy College Sligo and Kaloshta on Spirit Nave. And uh, the winners of next week's quarter-final and taking part in, in next week's quarter-final, it's an all-Dublin affair. O'Connell's CBS take on St. Declan's Cabra. We will see you then for more excitement on Blackboard Jungle. Have a good week.